Hey everyone, Optimus Wilbur here, and this video is not suitable for children under the age of 13. This is aimed at young collectors and adult collectors. Let's start the video. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Wilbur Reviews and if you want to make Baby Grimlock happy why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share it amongst your Transformer friends, these help the channel so much. Also if you want to check out behind the scenes why not go to the description box, look at the links below, you get to see the toy photography, other stuff to support the channel and I can't thank you enough. But the big important thing today is we are looking back once again at Transformers Armada Optimus Prime. That's right, we covered this video roughly when I started the channel and at the time I didn't really have a lot of good equipment. I actually made the video on a webcam and I'll link the video so you can get to see what it looks like originally but I wanted to go back over it again and give it the review I think it really does deserve, especially if I'm covering all the Armada videos. And it's one of my favourite bots. The reason it's probably one of my favourite bots, and if you don't know the story with this one, this was the first Transformer I bought, along with Megatron from Armada, but this one just stands out so much for me and considering now fans hobby is releasing naval commander which is a third party concept of their mad optimus prime i thought it was fitting that we did revisit it redo the video and give it all the touches i really wanted it to do at the time he is massive it's such a long trailer for him he moves perfect the figure is fantastic as you can see he comes with all sorts of trailers great on this material, it doesn't really move good because it's just little wheels under here, but I can assure you it does move. Um, going back and forward, going across. Size comparison, there's only really one bot I can bring in to do a size comparison with this. And that is, of course, Powerlink's Optimus Prime. Now, he will be in his own video, but it's really going to be for the combinations. I'm not going to review two of the exact same bot, especially... When this one has a few parts missing, notably in the trailer. But, as you can see, I've got now 3D printed custom stacks that have been painted. So that's really the size comparison. He is big. But when it comes to the combinations, I'm going to leave it to this guy so he gets his own video. Taking the trailer off, this is kind of now one of the standard modes you get to see Optimus. Now we're keeping back to the Generation 1 style. But for a long time just there, we actually had this style. Now, we known Generation 2, we had the Laser Optimus Prime, which then went to Scourge. But for a long time, especially because of the movies, this long nose version of the truck was kind of standard. So to see Optimus like this in the colours he's represented in was something different. Now, this is the Western version. The Takara version doesn't have the gold. It's more yellow than anything else. And that's kind of the version I really did want. I prefer the yellow on him compared to that dirty gold. And I think it matches the Minicon as well, having everything matched together. Moving in on the wheels, we can see that big monster prime convoy. And it matches the other side. And you can basically see where everyone's housed when he goes into Super Optimus Prime. His Minicon spark plug is just a little Lamborghini, which I really like. And of course you've seen his Powerlinx version, which was a gold one. Which is also a different shape compared to the spark plug we've got here. And I'm quite tempted to switch them up so it's like gold matching gold. But that one does look good on the Powerlinx version uh, when it's combined to that. Now, of course, this is a version that was in the Transformers Armada game, and I, what I like to do, I used to do as well, with keeping away the trailer, I used to put spark plug just on the back here, just to keep them secure, when, if I had, like, the game Transformers, like the Autobots and Decepticons, I used to, like, set them up, and I used to keep Prime like this, just the way, because, in the game, if you didn't know, he didn't have the trailer, so... Everything was just basically this, then of course, his rifle. 
Which you could set like that, it looks kind of silly, but that's what the game went for. The game really went for that look, so he had everything, and it did really look like Optimus Prime in the game, and Armada tried the exact same, and I think they've done a really good job. Now, transformation for this bot was incredibly simple, and it just made him look brilliant. First, sometimes what I like to do because of the way the transformation is, I sometimes take these off. Now, because they can easily pop off, they can be annoying. Come at the legs and just split them down. Fold back the feet. And that exposes them. And that is basically Prime ready to stand. Unhook them and come to the middle junction. Pop this. Pop that in. Flip down the arms. Come here and... Move down, move up the hands, sometimes these guys can get a bit stiff just because of how old they are, considering this bot's nearly 20 years old. And there you go, there is Optimus Prime Armada. So, zooming in on the face, one thing I did like, you can get the mouthpiece to move which is pretty cool and if you flip this down you can get a little matrix as well. Speaking of those exhausts, these are still the same batteries from 20 years ago. You can make it light up. If you can see, it's not really picking up because of the light source in this room, but it gives you a rough idea of some of the things the bot can do. Plus spark plug, you can see some of the detail in it. And if I just shine the light right, you can see his little minicon symbol there. And again, everything is housed underneath. Transformation is extremely simple. If we come to the head and just flip that up, exposing the legs, flip down his feet, and come back here, bringing out the arms, flip around the head, and there you go, there's a little spark plug. Probably my favourite Minicon, I just love the look of him, especially transforming into a, a little Lamborghini. And the fact it's Optimus's Minicon, that's what I really do like about it. So bringing the two back in, this is really the idea they wanted, like, is the combination for Amada Prime. And that's really what we got in the game. Spark plug would follow him, with Prime would just look like this. And I quite like this look, it does capture the look of Optimus Prime and how he was represented in Generation 1 for the comics, etc. It does look like a tough soldier. The way Spark Plug would connect into the game with Prime, it just fit in the back there, and that would be that. Articulation for Prime, really, that's really it. The articulation's not the greatest in the amount of figures, but you can get the legs to get a nice bend in the knee, and that's really it. But, that's not all this bot can do. The trailer played an important part with this Prime, just like the Power Master 1 did as well. Converting into a base, then joining onto the body of Prime. Now, that was one of the selling gimmicks of Armada with me. I just loved how it gave me back the feelings of that Power Master Prime, which was, of course, my favourite Prime and the very first one I ever owned. So... Transforming the base, you can do it battery operated. Unfortunately, there was a bit of battery acid spilled on the connections. I've tried to clean it and I've tried putting new batteries in. They don't work anymore. So I can't do it like, automatically, but you can do it manually if you didn't have the batteries. So, flip down these bits and as you can see, <laughs> it's ready to come right away. And just open it up. Come to this bit, and there you go. There is a mobile base. So, you know, parts that can pop out like this if I hit the button up here, and you've got little turrets, it can come out down here. Now, unfortunately, I don't want to touch that turret. This is at the time when Hasbro were using such a cheap plastic, certain connections would like to snap on you and it really did bum me out so i'm still scared to lift this little turret 
But you have got little ports at the side, and inside that little port, I have a missile. If I come to the back, you can lift up this cannon and just place that in. And Prime could stand on it, that's the thing. So if we put these back down for an extra bit of balance, just get this in the middle. With the way the feet are designed, Prime could, in theory, stand there. But it was mostly more to house the minicons. I've got some of the guys out, so let's pick one random here. So let's take the Dark Star Saber, which will be up in its own video. There's going to be a minicorn video, of course there would be. And like, so you can just put these guys in. There's a lot of ports kicking about. And that house them. That's not the only thing the trailer did, like I said. The trailer was mostly a base for Optimus Prime to transform into Super Optimus Prime. So let's get that done. Optimus Super Mode Transform! <laughs> Of course I was going to show a video on this, so the easiest way to do this is actually starting with the trailer, so let's do that part first. And it's really simple, you're just closing everything back up, you opened up on the trailer, and it basically houses itself. Now, if we can get it just right. And there's pegs just there, as you can see. And there you go. There's the legs to support them. There's no movement whatsoever in this. This is really just for showing off purposes when it comes to these legs. But next, now we have to transform Prime to connect onto the top. Transforming Prime can be annoying at times and it's not to do with the actual transformation it's to do with the grill and the exhausts at the side can just pop off at any time going into this mode so just be warned and that's where a lot of the combination um when you're joining overload on can be annoying so like i said that will be in the power links video but for just this purpose we're just going to purely do super optimus prime with spark plug just joining on them to go for that mode which is one of my favorite looks in the history of optimus prime so let's come to the atoms and first off what you want to do is close those up and see right away there you go just like that they like to pop off so what i'm going to do is just take them off completely come to the head and what you're doing is closing back up. So you're basically retransforming them. But what you do is bring these hands and arms and put them like this. And this will make life a lot easier in transformation mode. Come here and just close up the main body. Now it's going to sit like this for a couple of little settings. But what you're doing is readjusting and putting that in with the arms going like that and they can stay like that just now but you want them at that L shape and the hinge at 45 degrees it looks like they're going to break but they will be fine now come to the back legs and just split them and up pops this head now the button in the middle was meant to press and that could transform the trailer you're just flipping these guys round, like so, flip up the hands, come at the back here, tidy it up, and they just sit perfectly right there. Now you can reattach the exhausts. And there you go, Prime is ready. So let's bring back in the trailer. Bring it in, just those two connections, and you're just lining them up 
and clicking them in and there you go there is Super Optimus Prime let's get spark plug on his shoulder again little pin port just up there we need his gun Put it in there, and if we put the gun forward just a little bit, I'll move the camera for this and sharpen it so it's so close to you, you can actually light it up. Again, <laughs> the lights are not picking it up, but you can see what it can do. And there you have it, guys. That is Super Optimus Prime and uh, Transformers Armada. This has to be one of my favourite versions of Prime. It really does. Just looking at him, the way he looks is so menacing. The fact now there's a third party version coming out is incredible. Again, articulation is only the Adams. That is it. There's nothing else you can do. You can move them basically like that and you've got the nice elbow joint. And looking at the head sculpt, it is a good version of him. I do like that look. And just going down, you can see where a lot of attention to detail is. And keeping it still looking like Optimus Prime with the colour scheme and everything else, which was perfect. The only thing I wished this was a different colour, match the missile. I could probably call the missile in. Um, I've just never got around to doing it. I mean, I've had this bot for 20 years and it still blows me away of how it looks. It just looks so good. And with the combinations on it, it just makes it look even better. So... Let's push them back just so you can get to see the actual size. Now, if I was going to bring in another transformer, we'll just grab one by hand. So let's bring in Red Alert. Just put them down at the bottom. And that gives you a rough height. <laughs> he has a big guy. And that was like one of the selling points. And of course, like I said, you can do combinations. <laughs> Transform. So that will be covered in the Power Links video because I thought it would be appropriate using the that bot to showcase that. Let's get all the Power Links versions on and combine them. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this. I really did want to go back, remake this video to showcase my favourite Optimus Prime, um, just because this is the guy who started the collection, if this guy was not here, there'd be no Optimus Wilbur, there'd be nothing, and it's all owed to this guy for the Transformers collection, and everything else, so it does have a very special place in my heart, with regarding where things are now, especially with collecting, and what I've done in the Transformers community. So, Hope you really enjoyed it. I will leave a link to the original video, so if you want to go back and check it to see what it was like, and you get a rough idea of like how I used to do things, you get to see that, and that will be that. But I hope you really enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time, Transformer fans. As always, keep safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for everyone who tuned in today's video. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell? All new videos are always coming right here in Optimus Bulba Reviews. If you'd like to follow me in any of my social media links, all the descriptions are in the description box below. And of course, as always, I cannot stress this enough, I wish to thank Cybertron Spree for allowing me to use their song Cybertronic Warrior as the theme of this channel. Guys, this is an incredible band that does incredible covers and recently just done an amazing album of the Transformers and Internet 6 movie soundtrack. Please follow them and all their social media links. I have every description in the description box below. Please check them out and as always Transformer fans, till all are one.